Uh, Cali FPV, thanks for a five dollar super chat. Twenty megahertz versus forty megahertz on the O3. Is that compar- comparable to low latency versus high quality on the Vista? No, that is comparable to twenty five megabit per second versus fifty megabit per second. That is a different question from low latency versus high quality. So on the V2 goggles, you have settings. You have low latency and high quality. That is the frame rate. Low latency is 120 FPS for the Vista. For the O3, it's only 100 frames per second. Well, sorry. The O3 doesn't... Hmm. Okay, hang on, back up. We'll talk about the V2 and the Vista. On the Vista, you've got low latency and high quality. Low latency is 120 frames per second. High quality is 60 frames per second. Low latency has about 25 milliseconds of latency. High quality has about 50 mil, uh, 30, 35 milliseconds of latency. I'm sorry, I don't know why that number came because I was thinking about 50 megabits per second. For, forget that. Um, the reason that high quality has better quality when all that's changed is the frame rate is that if you have so many bits per second, and you need to send half as many frames per second, then you get twice as many bits to encode each of those frames. Okay? Um, 25 versus 50 megabits per second. That's the channel width. That's a completely separate and independent parameter. That is the amount of bandwidth that you're using to encode the data stream, and it is the width of the data stream in the frequency space. So 25 megahertz channel, 25 megabits per second channel is half the width. And therefore you have eight 25 megabit uh, megabit per second channels and only three 50 megabit per second channels. But because you have twice as many bits, you get more quality. So the highest quality you can get out of the V2 system is going to be 50 megabits per second, high quality, 60 FPS, 50 megabits per second, 60 FPS. That's going to give you more latency, but the maximum quality. The next one down is going to be 50 megabits per second, high quality, uh, high, high frame rate, low quality. Ugh. And then 25 megabits per second, low quality. And I don't know where 25 megabits per second, high quality would come in, which of those would be better or worse. So now let's talk about the O3. The O3 doesn't have high quality versus low quality, but it does have a frame rate you can change. On the O3, you can choose 4K, uh, sorry, you can choose 1080p 100 FPS. You can choose 1080p 60 FPS. That is high quality versus low quality, the frame rate. You just choose the frame rate instead of having this abstract setting. And you can choose the channel width, either 20 or 40 megabits, 40 megahertz, which is equivalent to 25 and 50 megabits per second. So those settings still exist on both the O3 and the V2. It's just the O3 presents them to you in a different way.